Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel, Kelechi here. So this is the phone that stands at the top in the Note series of the Redmi. At least for now, until the Redmi 11 shows up. So this is a 120Hz OLED display and a 108 megapixel camera lens on a budget device. Yes, it's a budget device and it feels like 108 megapixel camera are no longer reserved for flagship devices. And these are some of the major selling points of this phone and also an upgrade to the Redmi Note 9 Pro. So before I go into the full review guys, let me unbox the device and share my experience. So this is the same retail box you get when you buy the Redmi Note 10 Pro. And opening the box, you have an envelope that holds the SIM ejector pin. And then inside the envelope, you have some paperwork, the warranty card and the user guide. You also have a TPU case for the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Next you have the device with the core specs labeled. Next you have a 33W fast charging brick and a USB-C cable. So that's exactly what you have inside the box. Now let's talk about the design of the Redmi Note 10 Pro. This is beautiful, very classy. It poses a premium and a mid-range design. It looks a lot like glass but it is not. The mid-frame is made of plastic with a pretty good build quality that makes it feel premium. The material is polished to a glossy finish and that means it could be slippery. Redmi has kept the thickness in check. It weighs 193 grams with the Gorilla Glass 5 covering the back and the front. You also have a nicely designed rectangular camera bump. At the bottom you have the noise counseling mic, a USB Type-C port and a stereo speaker grill. On the left is the tray for your SIM card. On top you have the 3.5mm earphone jack, the speaker grill that makes it a double stereo speakers. Yes, you also have another mic and the IR blaster. On the right, you have the volume rocker and the power button that is also the fingerprint sensor. On the rear, you have a 108 megapixel camera lens and three additional lenses that function separately. On the front, you have a Super AMOLED panel of a 6.67 inches, making it the first in the Redmi phones. This phone displays perfect for the money spent. With a 120Hz refresh rate, you have a punch hole cutout for the selfie. It has a very good viewing angle. This is a full HD Plus display with a resolution of 2400x1080p with 394 pixels per inch density. This phone display is awesome, period. You have the light and dark mode to switch to your choice. And also color scheme for you to adjust to your desired color theme that suits you. You can switch from the 120Hz to 60Hz. On the performance side, setting up the fingerprint unlock took exactly 10 seconds to set up. So how fast does it unlock the device? What do you think? Is it fast enough for you? Yes, it is. And it comes with the MIUI 12, Xiaomi's latest Android skin and powered by Snapdragon 732G, 8 nanometer high performing processor that is coupled with 6 and 8 gigs of RAM. It has a good performance in whatever task you throw at it. This phone does not lag behind at all, either browsing the web or catching up on YouTube. For the graphic, you have Adreno 618 chip on board, so gaming on this device is okay. So guys, would you love to see a gaming test on this device? Please drop a comment below and possibly games you would love to see being tested. The battery life of the Redmi Note 10 Pro is a 5020mAh battery capacity. And this is what makes this phone stand out. Running at 120Hz screen refresh, the battery life does not drop in anywhere. With the 33W fast charging, it takes about an hour to fully charge. Coming to the camera side, one notable highlight of this phone is that it is the cheapest smartphone in the world at $340 or $129,000 to have a 108 megapixel camera sensor. It is a quad camera build of a 108 megapixel as the main lens. 8 megapixel ultra wide, a 5 megapixel macro lens, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor with a single LED flashlight. So, what do you think of the picture quality? The results speak for itself. The 108 megapixel lens calls for more details and vivid photos. It has autofocus and can take very interesting pictures. The colors are intact and nothing seems to be lacking here. There are tons of other camera features like the night mode, even vlog, amongst others. In video recording, it can shoot up to 4K at 30 frames per second, but will lack stabilization. 
so I recommend shooting at 1080p at 30 frames with video stabilization and autofocus. This is beautiful guys. This is extreme. It doesn't get any better than this. This is what you get when you shoot the video with the front facing camera of the Redmi Note 10 Pro. So what do you think of the picture quality? It's actually sunny out here and the sound. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. On the front you can also shoot 1080p at 30 frames per second. It's a 16 megapixel lens and the image quality is fairly good. So should you buy the Redmi Note 10 Pro or not? Yes, go for it. This one offers just about anything you'd want from a smartphone in the budget or mid-range. You have a 120Hz OLED display, a good camera and a sustainable battery life that does not drain out easily. Yes, it's a good buy at $340 or 129000 in Naira. So please guys, share your thoughts with me in the comments below. And kindly reach out to the subscribe button if you're new to my channel. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. I will see you in the next one. Peace.